Hello dear friends, a wide range of opinions indicate that something is changing. Opinion piece, the end of the movie, the signal is green, is it came over, the end is a beginning, moving to the next chapter, fake dates to confuse, we are in a game change. Let's start. The English term the end refers to the end of a film or a movie, accompanied by a credit to those who have worked hard to make a masterpiece, just as game over is a traditional message in video games that the game is over after the successful completion of, the, of a game. Every self-respecting film usually has a positive ending, because it couldn't be otherwise as good it is time to win over the evil at the end of the game. According to Susana Mariska, no one wants this terrible film to go on any longer. People are suffering and we hope to see the end of it. In the entering waiting period, the waiting pattern of the perceptual stalemate may be unbearable, even though we know that what we long for and are working for is just a step away. It is time to buckle up, remember why we are here and keep the faith. The rising spectacle indicates that we are approaching some kind of area. It just had a vision of an ascending I just had a vision of an ascending human collective emerging from a water balloon like a placenta. It feels like a dramatic birth. Divine intervention. According to Ashtar, those in power were informed of the earth changes in a timely manner. They were allowed to receive higher knowledge and therefore now have the responsibility to keep humankind safe and the task of informing all about the cosmic contact with the dimensions of light, where the transition to a higher frequency will take place. Many cosmic sacred councils have gathered and have decided after a long time that there is no change in Earth's misguised approach. On the contrary, the imbalance continues and the humankind continues to be exploited. The dimensions of light have decided to change course and we are going to intervene. The signal is green, said Ashtar. Again, Many agreements have not been honored and even boycotted. We have announced early that the great shift is coming from the great universal sun. The way governments treat the earth cannot be tolerated. Humankind is fully supported in this advance into evolution. This coming summer, there will be an immerse, an immense wave of cosmic light coming into the earth, so a purification is going to take place. Opinions. Steve Biko opines that as long as we exclude our star family from our calculations and plans, we will behave like Plato's cavemen, misinterpreting reality. The same is true if we refuse to acknowledge the dark reality of the treachery of some leaders. According to Kehrag, there is a higher light coming to us from the galactic center, and it is spreading like wildfire. Anything that doesn't match the vibrational frequency of this light will be dissolved. The dark side knows this, so they are rushing in with false flags in the hope of creating fear and lowering the frequency of the planet. It will not work. Nothing will stop the shift to the fifth dimensional reality. Jaret Ran says the celebration is near. They won't release a date, or even a possibility, because it's not a good strategy. There will be people involved who will not believe it when it is actually launched. They must, you must have confidence. Too many intelligence people have declared next week, and then next week, to drive us all crazy. This is a strategy but it drives humanitarian crazy over time, 
Just a little more patience, please. Dimension Jumping by Theodore Colum. The third dimension is about doing. Think of our grandparents and how they tell us about the hard work they did all their lives to get to where they are. In the fifth dimension, we can use manifestation and our thoughts become reality much faster than in the third dimension. The energy of this dimension revolves more around the life, compassion and healing. Ancient Souls by Moon These are sentient souls who understand that before they could be a light, they first had to feel the burn. The ancient souls that roam this earth are here to walk and guide the path of change. The cycle breakers, the light and love givers, encoded with symbols of life, knowledge and wisdom, and are the reign of the path. These beings are not above or below anyone, they simply are. These beings do not have it easy, but the knowing within them is their driving force and they work from their heart. The journey is challenging, but the call of your, their purpose is a gift, for you are the change. Many of these beings have, haven't had it easy in all aspects of their lives, but they come to us because this is the quickest way to ascend. This group seeks to make the lives of all humankind better than ever before. Endless journey. This ascension process at this time never ends. Yes, you will ascend. You will move completely through the process and you will reach that point where you ascend. But what do you ascend to? You ascend to the next level according to Saint Germain through James McConnell. But then there is another level after that and then another level and another level and another level. It is a continuous and never-ending journey. It never ends until you reach the original source of universal creation and you realize that you are that source. But for the moment, do not see things as they are within the illusion, but as you want them to be, as you are creating them to be. Know that the dark forces, they are reaching the end of their reigns. They cannot stop what is coming, though they will continue to try. They will go on to mention another part of their plan, but the next part of their plan will be the last part they will come to, perhaps their last gasp. It is as if your ship has sailed, as if their ship has sailed, and as it sails, it will be destroyed because it cannot sustain itself within the higher vibrational frequency. You, yourself, can hold yourself in that higher frequency because you have been raising your vibration, like the forces of darkness, who continue to hold a lower frequency within themselves and try to keep it low for everyone else through fear, anger and despair. They try to force that on everyone else but they are losing the understanding of that and more and more people are moving away from that grip they reach out and try to hold you but you are moving farther and farther away you being the collective you the collective consciousness of the humankind is pulling away from your grasp people want to be comfortable but they also have to allow change in their lives and this change will come to a point where it will reach that crescendo that has been talked about so many times. The cusp coming to the end, however you want to look at it. The end of the film is coming, or the end of this television series, and you are all needed at this time to be the ones to present the truth in whatever way you can. In fact, it's very important to forgive, forget and move on. Forgive yourself forgive others for whatever they have done to you and then forget the past and let it go. When you do that, you are letting go, you are moving on. Move on to the next chapter in your movie, your TV series on your book, however you want to see it.
advertisement. Phil Godlevsky had received an analyzed transcript of what was to be announced this past weekend and has been authorized to publish an excerpt. We know this was not read out publicly or privately to anyone. In quotes, in the coming days and weeks, you will experience a series of unprecedented events that will shake the foundations of everything we have known. At times during these days and weeks, you will receive messages on your television set, smartphones, including Apple and Android, and other tablets, laptops, PCs, smartwatches, and other strategic devices available to the private sector, as well as government agencies globally. These messages will not be avoidable, and close attention must be paid to the instructions contained in the messages to citizens. Our world has been under attack by a group of extremists, collectively known as the clique. For years, these extremists have flaunted their wealth, power and technology in the face of all human beings, most of whom struggle to put food on their table and a roof over their head. They have infiltrated all levels of power, becoming some of the most trusted voices we have ever known. In recent months, as part of the coalition with other world leaders, many of these has been, have been arrested during a strategic operation known only by, the, by one word, extract. Many of these individuals are awaiting trial in various locations around the world. While we cannot change the past, we can certainly change the future and the outlook of humankind. Remain calm during this process and follow the instructions you received through the messaging system described above. Close quotes. Breaking news. 4.3 magnitude earthquake hits Snyder, Texas. The US Air Force grounded a fleet of planes because their tails could fall off in flight. 90 arrests in Iraq for counterfeit 100 dollar notes. Flights disrupted in China over balloon reports. Russia submits a draft on Nord Stream sabotage to the UN Security Council. The new era of world trade has a name. The IMF names and explains the fifth stage of globalization called a globalization. The new era is characterized by regionalization, security, and proximity. Americas. Heavy rains and floods in Manaus, Brazil, have submerged several vehicles. Brazilian police advanced the operation against illegal mining to protect the Yanomani people. A program to cap the prices of seven beef cuts comes into force in Argentina. Relatives of disappeared Uruguayans accused the military. The Peruvian Congress declares Colombian President Gustavo Petro persona non grata. The basic food basket continues to rise in El Salvador. Canada to send warships to Haiti in response to security crisis. Spain extends nationality offer to another 94 st stateless Nicaraguans. Nicaragua strips 94 more opponents of their nationality. The Nicaraguan government on Wednesday declared 94 opponents and dissidents, including writers Sergio Ramirez and Gioconda Belli, as well as many journalists and human rights defenders, traitors to the homeland, stripped of their nationality and ordered the confiscation of their property. The Organization of Venezuelan Political Prisoners in Exile said Thursday it was against holding a primary election in Venezuela to choose a candidate to run against Nicolás Maduro in the next year's presidential elections. In quotes, it is completely incongruous to seek to hold an election where there is a dictatorship that violates human rights and has murdered innocent people just for thinking differently. Jose Antonio Colina, president of the organization, 
said in a statement, Repression of freedom of expression. In Venezuela, once one of the freest countries in Latin America, there is now no place for opinions that differ from those of the government. This is why journalist Carlos Omobono took refuge in Italy. In the 70s, Venezuela was a refuge, a refuge for many persecuted people, for the free expressions of opinion. Today, however, independent voices are being persecuted by the regime and expelled from the country. There are currently more than 7 million Venezuelans abroad, a figure that puts the South American country at the top of the world's list of refugees, as a quarter of its entire population has emigrated. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.